Welcome to Lesson 067 of Online School of Entrepreneurship. I am Dr. Kirian Mfam. In today's lecture, we will dwell on design thinking pedagogy of entrepreneurship training. Upon completion of this lecture, our audience will be able to explain the design thinking pedagogy of entrepreneurship training. Design thinking pedagogy of entrepreneurship training. Design has been defined in many ways. Design could mean the creation of business. It could mean problem solving activity. It could mean a way of reasoning, reflecting, and creating meaning. So when we talk about design in design thinking pedagogy, of entrepreneurship training, we are looking at different connotations to the concept of design. Sometimes we use design to mean the creation of a business. Sometimes we use it to mean the ability to solve a problem or, or, an, or a problem-solving activity. It could also mean the ability to reason, reflect, and create a meaning. It is a human-focused, prototype-driven, and innovative design process. So, design thinking pedagogy is human-focused. It is focused on, on, on humanity. It is also focused on prototyping. That is to say, taking a, a particular a prototype as a model. And again, it involves innovative design process. To authenticate design thinking as an entrepreneurship education pedagogy, Bonnie et al. 2009 defined design as a process of actions and decisions aimed at producing products, services, environments, and systems that addresses a problem and improves people's uh, lives. So, uh, uh, in the context of um, Buni and others, they see design as a process of actions. That is where actions are taken and decisions are made as it as concerns the production of goods, the rendering of services, the, the, cre the creation of an enabling environment for business to try, and the systems that addresses the problem and improves people's uh, life. That is, um, design thinking is inherently action-based and action-based with the intention to, to create a value. Brown 2008 picture design thinking as a team-based iterative three-step process. That is to say, according to, to Brown, design thinking involves teamwork, where team members influence one another with the intention of achieving a collective goal. And the three steps that are involved in this process are one, being inspired by the world through observing it closely, looking for problems and opportunities. Being inspired by the world through observing it closely, looking for problems and their opportunities. So the first step in design thinking is to, 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 to look at the environment, look at the challenges or problems around the environment, as well as opportunities that are inherent from the, from the problems within the environment. Two, brainstorming around plausible ideas for concepts that can help people, and three, testing these ideas on users through prototypes. So the first step, is to get inspiration from the problems of the community as well as the, the opportunities that are inherent in those, in those uh, problems. Two, students begin to brainstorm on the possible ways to generate ideas from these uh, opportunities. And the focus on generating ideas is to ensure that there are ideas that can provide help for the people. And three, the ideas are tested or implemented through prototypes. That is, look alike, 
business uh, designs or models. Design thinking focuses on a creative search for what might be instead of being limited by what is and what should be. Design thinking visualizes and imagines something that does, that does not now exist, that will take care of users' needs in order to create a value. So in design thinking, the designer or the students, they are proactive, they are futuristic. They look at the future, the future and begin to ascertain what is going to work out in terms of the needs and opportunities that have been identified. Design thinking is a team-based iterative three-step process, which we have discussed earlier, because it involves inspiring participants by the world through observation and quest to solve problems and generate opportunities. Two, students brainstorm around the possible ideas that can translate the, the inspiration in order to solve people's uh, problem. And three, testing the ideas through business uh, prototype. Application of design thinking pedagogy. Design thinking is a non-linear, iterative process that can have three to seven phases, depending on whom you talk to. We focus on the five-stage design thinking model proposed by Hassel Platner Institute of Design at Stanford because they are world-renowned for the way they teach and apply design thinking. The five stages of design thinking, according to, to them, are stage one, empathize, reach your user's needs. Now, under this, this stage, you put yourself on the position of the person you want to help. Em empathizing means placing your, 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 yourself on the shoes of the person you want to help so that you feel the other problem and challenges that is faced by the person that is in need of uh, help. Two, that's stage two, define or state your user's needs and problems. Having, having put yourself on the shoes of the person, the next step is for you to define or state the needs and the problem of the person. Stage three, ideate. Ideal means challenging assumptions and creating uh, ideas. Under this stage, you challenge the assumptions in terms of what should be and creating ideas that will help you to solve the problems and satisfy the needs of the people. Four, prototyping, that is, start to create solutions using similar business model to the one you'll eventually uh, implement. Prototype is the first phase of design thinking, where students identify the best possible solution that will be similar to the solution, to, to the prototype, or the actual design they're going to use to solve the problem. Five, test your ideas. That is, try your solution out. Here, students implement the ideas they have generated with the intention to see the workability in actual uh, life setting. In the course of this lecture, and in line with our instructional objectives, we are able to discuss how to apply design thinking pedagogy in entrepreneurship training. Please support us by one, following us on our Facebook page, Online School of Entrepreneurship. Two, subscribing to our YouTube channel, Entrepreneurship Teacher. And three, liking, commenting, and sharing our posts. Thank you and see you in our next lecture.